Hey, it's your girl Ashanti, and you're watching Live It Up. City at 360 and it's gonna be a fabulous night and with us now is Alyssa. How are you my friend? Hi, how are you Donna? You are like a music industry insider. Um, I guess that's the best way to describe you because you've had every position there possibly could be starting at an internship and going all the way up, right? So here you are, you're part of iHeart, uh, but tonight's a very special night. Can you tell us about why we're here? Yes, so originally the event started to raise funds for City of Hope, which is a research and cancer treatment facility in Los Angeles. They've discovered seven out of the top 10 cancer drugs and they've really done a ton of work for cancer, AIDS, and diabetes actually. And so I just thought it was an amazing cause in general and I was really excited to support it. And then, you know, about our eighth year in, I actually lost my own dad to um, cancer and so I started a program with another uh, charity that I work with as well called Musicians on Call which is um, having musicians go to play at the bedsides of patients. Musicians on Call, you know, it, it seems like there is a common thread with all of these events we do and it is music and it is a proven fact that music is a healing force and that's why taking people to the bedside of people in hospitals is a very important thing. Musicians on Call, incredible. Another great organization that I love. It's a wonderful moment to see how many people in the music and entertainment industry really care about fighting cancer and, and these diseases as well as showing how music can help heal. I think a lot of times in the music industry people feel like oh we're just selling records and everything but it's a lot more than that. The music that they're connecting people to helps people feel better, it helps them heal, it makes their days better. And I think tonight is a night to celebrate that and all the people that are part of it. The proceeds from tonight not only benefit City of Hope, but they go to fund the program with Musicians on Call at City of Hope. So we have musicians coming in. We launched it with Gavin DeGraw, my favorite artist. <laughs> and we have different artists come in every Friday and play for the patients, and it's really an amazing program. <laughs> A lot of people are out here to support Alyssa and this event, and you're on the committee. What made you say yes uh, to doing this? You know what, I've been coming to this for so many years now, and I've been really fortunate in my life to have really great things happen, and I just started thinking to myself, maybe it was time to to give back, and I've always been so impressed with the job that Alyssa does. And we had, we actually had breakfast one day, and just, I said I'd love to be a part of this, and she, uh, you know, she, she said you would be, it would be a welcome addition, and, and I, I hope I've stepped up and brought something to the, to the table. Well, it's been easy. We've been doing this, I think, 11 years now. Is that right? Um, it's a fantastic event. Everybody that you want to talk to on a daily basis is here. They're easy to find, and they're a little loose, thanks to the wine. And it's all for a good cause, so when two people don't want to be next to each other, they forget about it for a moment because we're all here for the right reason. I spent a lot of years at MTV and used to work on MTV social issues and a lot of the artists that I used to work with were also involved going room to room to play for patients in hospitals and so they turned me on to the organization and then I came on a few years ago as president. I think I've come to every single event and I've got more involved as the years have gone and this year I actually joined the board with Alyssa. Uh, I always want to support Alyssa. I think it's a great charity. I think she works really hard. I think it's important for people in music to come in and support such a great cause. When you were growing up, who taught you how to be philanthropic? Why does giving back to you matter? I would say my grandfather. Um, he was such a phenomenal person. He was a civil rights activist. He integrated the police station, the firehouse, the elementary schools where I grew up in Glen Cove. So my grandfather, I think, is where I got it from. I think when you're fortunate in life, it's important to give back. And I think that City of Hope is an amazing charity. And this is a great opportunity to, A, spend an evening with all the people in the business that you know and love that you don't really get to always socialize with and then raise a lot of money for an amazing institution that's doing great things for people. I come from a big family, a big Catholic family, so that was always a big part of our of our daily lives. If it wasn't part of our daily lives, it was certainly part of Sunday. 
and I think it's just always a part of you. What artist, what was the highlight for you last year that, that made you have that moment of like, wow, did that really happen? Yeah, um, well, it was 21 Pilots and Panic at the Disco both had amazing years. And then we just signed some new artists that I felt very lucky to get. Um, and they put a lot of trust and faith in me. And, and I don't know, again, it just made me kind of take a step back and, and go, you know, um, I do so much for these artists and I, and I work so hard for these people, but there are so many other people that could use, um, use my help. I think we're very proud of the weekend and how big he's become, and we're really excited about stuff that's coming. Got a big U2 tour, lots of great stuff. You've got some new music, you said that's dropping. Yeah. Tell us about that, what makes you excited about I'm that? so excited, I was in the studio literally a few hours ago doing a new record, um, but my single is called Lose Yourself. It's such a different sound and it sounds so urgent, so I'm so excited. I'm really excited about this Linkin Park record. Linkin Park is a record that a band has been around for years, right? And they have a giant smash pop hit that's a giant record at Top 40 and Hot AC and an alternative as well. So it feels amazing to have a band that big that's been around so long that continues to write records that matter to kids today. Oh, Future. <laughs> Very excited for a couple weeks in a row. And Khaled and Travis Scott and Camila and Fifth Harmony and all kinds of good stuff to come. What's amazing is all we actually have really generous people from the music industry who host each table and they bring wine from their own cellar to wow. pour at the table. So Ellie Reed and Steve and you know Rick Cooper, we have people here who bring incredible wine and it's really a treat for everybody. I know you do love wine. You are quite the wine connoisseur. Uh, and so do you have a favorite? I told you I like Malbec, but like that's just like my fa flavor uh, of the month. But how about you? What are some I drinking like, wines that you like? I actually like a wine called Sea Smoke. And what's funny is since we all discovered it here a couple of years ago, a couple of different people bring it. So tonight I'm very excited to hear that we already have a bunch of Sea Smoke in the room. So that'll be fun. Wow. Did you bring your favorite wine to share tonight? And if so, what is it? Uh, I may have. <laughs> It's gonna be a great night, right? I uh, I might have brought a couple of bottles, nine, um, for this tonight. I'll tell you, they have a lot of expensive wines here tonight, but I requested our table be nothing but box wine. Red or white? Blush. We'll have we'll have a combination. We'll have a little white, a little red, and a little there'll be some rosé there too. They always give us a little bit of everything, and then we all fall out the front door. Look at those. Aren't those kind of those fun? Those are fun, man. My D squared. Aren't those fun? I mean, he's funny. I see why you love him so I love much. Him. Yeah. He's, a, he's a well dressed man. Yes, he is. Yes. Very dapper in his. Uh, it's not even royal blue, it's like electric blue. Exactly. He said he was bringing on fall early. I mean, spring early. Oh, he like, absolutely is. I can see reflections. I can see how people's skirts. Oh, my! <laughs> line of that, of that song that you love, how does it start? Oh my gosh, I can't give it away because it's definitely, <laughs> it's definitely a very meaningful first line. Great. Is it something that makes you laugh or make you cry? It makes you do this. Oh, let me try that. Makes try, you do this? Yeah. <laughs> do you have a song that makes you feel better when, when you're like needing a little pick-me-up? Is there something that you sing to yourself? And if so, what is that song? Oh gosh. Um, Right now, I mean, the weekend, I, I can't get his songs out of my head. I was a DJ in San Francisco. I come from radio. I was at KML Radio in San Francisco for 10 years. Now, a DJ where you scratch records or a DJ that oh, you're yeah. pushing? Oh, it was vinyl when I was... Wait, all right, let me see, Joey. Let me see some of your spins. <laughs> Coming here tonight, you're just getting immersed in goodness. The whole room is full of positivity, and we need more of this. And you're fabulous, too. Give yourself Thank some you. credit. All right, living it up right here with Elvis Duran. Woohoo!